And why we love this dog so much. All right, so we're gonna do another another session. Look what I have, everybody. Just in case she poops on me today, which she did last time. Got it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just keep going. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go. Oh, girl, look at you. I noticed the difference. Here, girl. I appreciate. Oh, of course. Girl. made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. So we have Erica back and her, her dog, Crook, and this is her uncle, and everybody, all his friends call him Fingers. But your name is Jose, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and Crook, what do they call you? They call you Crook. Yeah. All right. So thanks for coming back. How long has it been? Like a couple of weeks? No, about a month. A month. And what have you seen in the last month? Is any, um, any changes? She's sleeping straighter. Her spine is straighter. She's more comfortable. Um, she's more. Um, she's more comfortable running around the other dogs. It used to be they would run and she would just fall. Now she can keep up with them. So it's been it's been amazing. So she had some improvements. Significant improvement. Yes. Significant improvements. Okay, improvement. we want to see that. I mean, we we love this dog so much. All right. So we're gonna do another another session. Let's see what happens. So exciting. Okay. Last time, uh, let's walk. Last time, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. What a positive dog. Good girl. Did you know that people it. said that they go, "What a positive dog." Right, because this dog has a personality yeah. that makes everybody happy. Yeah. Right? She really does. Like she cheers everybody up. She really, really does. All right. We're going to need you to be this happy all the time, right? Come on, Cook, come this way. If I like that, you know. Go to the mat. All right. We have tissues if we need it. Go to the mat. On the mat, Cook. Look what I have, everybody. Just in case she poops on me today, which she did last time, and I still love her, you know, she pooped on me. Do you remember when you pooped on me? Was that funny for you? <laughs> you were probably leaving the office going, oh my God, that was so good, I got to poop on him. <laughs> no, I don't know. Let me uh, see what I can get over here. Okay. And we're gonna do a little session, you and I. All right. So. Alright, what do you think? Do you want to work with me today? What do you want to do? Can I can I work on you? Mm hmm? What do you think? Can I work on you today? Would that be okay if I do a little tune-up on you? Your mom said you're feeling a lot better, right? Let's review again. Come over here, Erica. Yes. Sit here. Here I'll give you remember I gave you this chair last time? Perfect. It's not much of a chair. It's okay. Um, so here, let's take one thing at a time, okay? Sometimes it's best to break it down one at a time. Okay. So her movement is better. Yes, her movement is better. Okay. Her spine appears to be more straight. Usually it's a little bit curved. Okay. She might walk a little bit curved. I'm, I'm looking at, this is called the top line yeah. on a horse or a dog. And it's not so rounded here because the lumbosacral area is a little more balanced. Yes. And the muscles are not bunched up. Yes. So I like this line. You see a little bit of a concavity here, a little bit of a curve. Yes. Uh, her head is held nicely. Yep. You know, she looks pretty good. This is pretty good. Yeah. So I, I do like what I see. And you, she, you said she's sleeping better? Yes, it's significantly different in the way she sleeps. You know, like how when a dog sleeps and they, you know they're comfortable, all the, all they're on their side and all their paws are like out. Mm -hmm. They're not curled in. They're not covering their head. That's how she was. She was cozy, you know, to the point where I could throw a blanket over her, put a pillow under her head because the air conditioner makes her cold, and that way she wouldn't curl in a ball. And she was so comfortable all night long, just so happy. 
That's great. That must be a relief for you. It is. It is. And what else did you notice? Uh, well, a little bit of a pain in the ass, but not too much. <laughs> um, everybody always fights for, for sleeping with me. And because Crook has... Because you have more than one dog. Well, yeah, I have three. And they all want to sleep next to you. And me. they all want to sleep right next to me. And so my Crookie... This I feel, is Crookie. Yeah, I feel so bad for her. I'm like, oh, she can't make it over here. Well, now she's got a new thing down. She barks, the other dogs think something outside, and then she dashes back to the couch and she gets next to me, and then the other dogs are beat. She's got her spot. So she barks yep. she makes as it, a distraction. Yeah, it makes them think something is outside. And they run away. Them. They run to the backyard. And then she grabs the good spot. Yeah, she grabs the good spot. <laughs> That's brilliant. I was laughing last time, Dr. Cook. <laughs> Did you ever see Cry Baby? No. Okay, well, Cry Baby, look it up, y'all. It's with Johnny Depp. And cry, and there's a, a character called Hatchet Face. And it's like, almost looks like she got a bunch of eyeliner on one eye and no eyeliner on the other eye. Yeah. Well, I was so worried about coming here last time. And I was so upset that by the time I made it here and you got a, a picture of me, I look like Hatchet Face. Oh. I had one eyeliner all missing. The other one was all thick. But you guys were very kind and... Okay. I just feel blessed that I found you guys. All right, well, Kirk thank really you. deserves this help. We, we had a great visit, and I really appreciate how much you love your, your dogs. Thank you. And it comes through. Thank you. I think anybody who watched Crook's first video would know how much you love your dogs. Thank you. It's, it, you thank have such you. a big heart, and but you make it easy to be loved, right? She sure does. Right? Anybody that has a heart would love you. All right, so I'm gonna get started. Is that okay if we work a little together? You sure you don't want me to move out of the way a little No, bit? like you close by, because it, it's okay. nice for... Understood. Yeah. No, I have complete yeah. control of my dog. I'll stay right here. Yeah, so it's nice nice to have you right next to us. So I'm up here. Remember we played with this spot before, and this yes. is that gap between the base of the skull and then the first vertebra. You know, I have one here, so I'm gonna grab it. So don't let Crook move, okay? She won't. So this is a plastic spine, okay. and it's a little twisted up, so I didn't get this prepared for this. Let's see. It has to go with this. And, okay. So this is the spine. It's all twisted, so don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. But you can see here, this top bone right here is the atlas. Get in really close. And we call these little wings here because they stick out to the side. And this is the first cervical bone. And the base of the skull here is called the occiput. And the first thing I like to do is just feel these gaps. So the gaps should be pretty equal, but sometimes one of the sides is tilted up or the other side's tilted up. And then if it's tilted up like that, I pull it down. And here, shoot it straight down now. That would be the dog lying on its belly. And I look for these gaps right here. And that's what we're going to look at first, OK? And the right side is tight. And I'm going to pull that one down. So I'm going to, actually, I should come from this angle, maybe. Got it. Okay. No, stop. It's that okay. was a good, good one. Brush it off, honey. Brush it off. Good girl. All right. Good girl. Brush it off. Dr. Doug's here to help. So that's going to be the most intense okay. one. Actually, there'll be two intense ones. That one and down here at the lumbars. Okay. Okay, so that one's done. All right. Good girl. And, and you've got your gap back. It's, it's perfectly centered now. And that one you'll notice a lot, like sometimes an older dog, a senior dog. Do you move No, she's good. Let her, she probably wants to shake that off. Okay. And move around a little bit. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. Oh, that's our detective. She yeah, loves, she she loves good girl. <laughs> that's a good girl. And um, so senior dog, bless you in the other room. I hear sneezing. Uh, What was I going to say? Um, oh, sometimes with a senior dog, they um, have trouble eating without laying on their belly. They want to like collapse to the belly and then just put the food into the bowl. Has that ever happened to? Um, 
Yeah, to Crook, to Mofo, but um, they did it for like a couple seconds or like one or two days and then they yeah. went back to eating yeah. regular. And uh, that's one of the things I like to check is the atlas for that. So let's bring uh, Crook back. You might have to go get her. Oh, oh. Oh, look at mommy. Oh. Get back over there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come here, mommy. Come on. Go see Dr. Doug. All right. Yeah, Thanks for go. coming back. So I'm going to just check down your spine now, okay? Let me check here. Okay. You're a little worried about me now, a little nervous because I'm the one pushing into your sore spots. And here's the sore spot at C5, lower right. So there's seven bones in the neck. I'm down at the fifth one right now. And I'm just massaging this one. So there's a big muscle knot right there. And I'm just going to hold it and massage it. I'm putting slight pressure on it and working out that knot. And Taking a breath in. It's good for us to breathe, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. Now I'm gonna actually adjust it with this tapping instrument because I don't want to put too much force. It's a, this Crooks is a senior dog. Remind us of Crooks' age again. Crook is 11 and she will be 12 on August the 20th. Which is okay. coming up, right? It's coming up. It's okay, How many are. days is that from now? Uh, I believe it's the 14th, so about six days away. It's 14th. So you can hold her head, okay? Okay. What way would you like me to hold her head? Uh, just like, maybe come around and be sideways with me. So you're going to sit right here and face us. No, 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 right where I put you. Good. And you just hold the head, and I'm going to come down the back. Okay. Let me check the shoulders. Bring the arm up. Crook, relax. Okay. Relax, sweetheart. Relax. Okay, and I'm on the little feet. My arm's right here. It's okay. And I'm on the arm. It's okay, honey. I'm it's okay. I'm gonna tap the the humerus. Okay, 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 okay. So the Once humerus went that. forward. So I did an anterior see humerus see adjustment. See I'm gonna come down the back, and we're not gonna spend a lot. I'm, I know I'm talking at the same time, but I'm gonna work and get it done. And I'm finding the ones that need to be done. So there's 13 thoracics, and then we start the lumbars. And there's one right here. So I'm gonna do it on a very light setting. And this will just, the, the shock that will make her jump. It's okay. It's it doesn't okay. have electric shock, I just mean the Look, impulse. Stop, 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 stop. And now, seven lumbars, and then we start the sacrum. This is the tuber sacralis. Here is uh, L7. L7 is definitely tight. I'm going to come straight in, P to A. No. We're posterior to ventral, no. posterior to anterior. This is the one I adjusted last time at the very end of the video. It needs a little more work. I'm gonna She's do that. Getting a little antsy. Yeah, it's She's okay. I'm gonna just keep going. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go, just do it. Let me check the tail. See if you're you pooping on me. Do it. Because <laughs> if you slow up on her, you know she's running away, do it. So right. now I'm giving a tail traction. You got this, girl. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Look, he's making it feel all better. Let's do this hip. All better. Look at that. This hip. All better, all better, all better. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to hold her head like this this time, okay? So okay. you're going to put your hands around just like that so she won't turn Ooh. on me, okay? Because i got to get a few of these spots Ooh. with a little bit more. Crook. Okay, got it. Can okay. you see his back leg? Let's take this leg don't. No. Okay, I'm going to check this leg. It's okay, honey. Mommy's right here. I'm going to take both legs up. Oh, girl. Look at you. Look good. Look at you, good girl. That's the right one. Okay, 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 okay. All right, sorry, baby. This is called an ASLEM. Okay, what's that mean for me? It means the uh, pelvis went forward on the right, and I'm pulling it back. Oh, okay. So it's not, we can fix it, right? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. And it's where it's twitching, too. So I have to and add to this with some Crook, speed. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. One more. Got it. That, that's her All bad. Look, all oh, bad. We're all done. Where's our treats at? Where's our treats at? So you better give me treats. You just torture me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're okay. It's okay, baby. I noticed the difference. It's okay. I noticed the difference when she naps. I noticed the difference for real. Good. I can't have kids. This is your daughter. Uh, yeah. Of course. 
my baby sleep right. with I just feel like you're a special place in heaven for dudes like oh. you. Okay, so, Crook, do I have permission to work on your uncle and your mom? What do you think? All right. So, yeah, I think he yes, said sir. yeah. So here we have Jose here. Um, why do they call you fingers? Because of my finger. <laughs> You broke it. What yes. year did you break it? How many, how oh, many about years? About 40 years ago. 40 years ago. And it never straightened out. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So I'm going to have you lie face down. He's got a bad lower back today. We're going to do a mini adjustment for both him and Erica. And look, look. <coughs> Crook is happy. So put your nose right in there, sir. And you don't have anything sharp in your pockets, right? No. And you're going to lie on your belly. Oh, can I take these keys off? Because they'll, they'll cut me. Oh, May I? I forgot about that, yeah. Okay, I'll give them to Erica. She is the keeper of the keys. I got it. I'm keeping everything in our little okay. box. Now I'm going to bend your knees, okay? Let me bend them up. First do L5, okay? Actually very similar, but crook had L7. What's similar is it's your last lumbar, and it was crook's last lumbar. So. Got it. Big breath in. And blow it out. Okay. You hear that pop? Mm -hmm. Good. So this is a mini adjustment because this is actually a regular business day for me and I have a new patient waiting to come in. But I couldn't look at you without trying to help you a little bit. Is that okay? Yes. So this is a percussive instrument. It taps 10 to 12 times per second, and it can push the bone in with its, it has a decent amount of force. So take a big breath in, blow it out. This is the SI joint. I'm just checking alignment as I go because it's an easy way for me to see what's going on with him. That's already looking a little better. As the table drops, the force goes into the spine at the direction I pick. So depending on, like the lumbars have a 90 degree facet angle, so I come in at 90. Different species have different angles, so you have to learn all the different angles for each species if you're going to do a good job. And You hear some of those pops, right? Good. I'd like you to turn to your back if you can, okay? Okay. Good. Hands on your belly. I'm going to come in one more time into the neck. Me up the wrists. Ah! Got it. Ooh. That was crazy, right? Yeah. You feel better? We'll see when I walk down the street. <laughs> it feels good. Let's do another. 
That's the big mother. I'm tired. <laughs> you can do me next week. No, I, I'm joking. I'm not tired. Okay. All right. So carefully turn to your side and then sit up, okay? Okay. Oh, <laughs> walk around. See how you feel. Besides dropping your pants when you walk. Right. Don't step on crook. Right. Give him a second and get his belt on. Meanwhile, Erica, come on. You're gonna lie face down. You don't have any keys, knives, sharp things. She's thinking maybe a few weapons. You know where I'm from. You know I usually carry a couple of I know, I know, that's why I'm asking. Alright. Alright, you're gonna put your arms up here. Now where's your bad spots? Neck, back, low back? All of it. Okay. Come I sit on the couch in a stand position all day. Alright, here we go. Turn your head this way. You ready? Ready. Big breath in and blow it out. What do you think of that? That feels great. Good. Big breath in, blow it out. Good. Head back to center. Okay. I'm going to be lying your back. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to be a little dizzy. You okay? Yeah, I got a little dizzy. Oh, you got a little dizzy. Okay. Do you need a minute or are you good? Nope, I'm good. You drop the head. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. It just scared me. Wow. Wow, that's serious business. Hi. <laughs> All right, lie on your side this way. Okay. Bend this top knee. I heard the phone go off. That was, was that Crook's phone? Yeah. With the barking noise? No, that's a ideal's phone. Let this flow a little bit. Let this roll towards Perfect. me. Don't worry, you won't fall. Okay. That's the lower back. Your lower back's been nice. bad. Oof. Your lower back's been hurt for a while, right? Yeah. Turn this way. Put weights in and just clean it and carry and crook. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna help you out, okay? Okay. Got it. So a big pop of her lumbars. Come sit up. You ready? Yeah, that was nice. And then stand. See what you think. Oh, I feel great. Thank you so much. Wow. How are you feeling? A lot better. Really? Yeah. A lot better or a little better? A lot better. A lot better yeah. deal? For real? Yep. I'm so happy that I called you to take it away. So I couldn't just work on Crook today. I had to work on Erica and Fingers and Crook. And hopefully they're all feeling better than when they got here. Yes, we are. Yeah. Thank you so very much. <laughs> You're a good man. Wow. This is... Erica, come on. One more hug. Yes, thank you so much. All right. Dr. Doug, you're amazing. All right, you thank guys you. are the best. You're you're nice, home. happy back, sweetie. You're such a good dog. Right, what about my keys? I have your keys, right? Oh, uh, you gonna do this? That's a nice moment. All right, you're uh, awesome. so let's, see, let's see Crick move around, okay? Should mommy cook your steak tonight? Should mommy cook your steak tonight? Should mommy cook your steak tonight? Oh, wow, look at you. Oh, wow, look at you. Let's stop. Let's stop. You want to turn around and do a runway walk, Mommy? Come on. Come on, we're going to go home. Come on. We're going to see a runway walk. Go get the old girl. Go get the old Go get the old girl. 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 Go Crook was back. We had a great, uh, a great session with her. You could see she was a little nervous, and you know, but she's a senior dog, and she's got tender spots. And my job is not to find the easy spots, but to find the difficult spots. And I'm really happy with the way that went. And she seems to have perked up because of it. 
and you feel good about it, right? I'm so glad when it yeah. feels off, I'll tell you the story. Okay. And so thank you. Leave Crook a comment because Crook does read all her comments and we'd love to see some encouragement. Um, she's really lovely. Thank you. Look what I have, everybody. Just in case she poops on me today, which she did last time, and I still love her. The difference when she naps. I noticed the difference. Good. I, 